Fez here from Crypto Setups. Today I'm going to take you through Optimus. Optimus is one of the first yield aggregators or yield optimizers that is launching on Icon that will make yield farming a whole lot easier. And um, I'm going to take you through what the application is going to look like, uh, how to use it, and uh, finally going to show, talk through the strategies it will launch with and um, what they do. So uh, if this is something you're interested in, make sure you hit like and subscribe and, and watch the entire tutorial as I'll touch on everything um, from every aspect. So first thing I want to do is this it is call out that this is on testnet okay um everything you see here there could be changes and tweaks by the time it goes live so keep that in mind um but uh, i have been told this is near the complete edition of the dap that will launch so uh, let's dive in first thing if you have never used testnet i'm going to quickly show you some things you need to do to use testnet um, I will leave these links in the show notes. So the first thing, if you're using IconX, you need to do is set up the IconX wallet. Now this step I'm not going to show you, mainly because there's a thorough step-by-step -step guide and if you follow this, which I did, and that's how I did it, um, you'll be fine. So these are the changes you need to make to add the testnet versions. And once you have that, the next thing you need is some testnet ICX. So um, I will include this in the show notes where you can just go here and claim your ICX put for your wallet. And I'll show you how to do that. So you've got your wallet. Um, once you're on testnet, and just paste in the address, send some ICX. I believe I'm not a robot. And give it a moment and it will send it to me. Done. So now that wallet should have more. If you go and take a look, you see I had 14,000 ICX, it's up to 16,000. You can only claim 2,001 ICX each day. Keep that in mind. Now you've got enough ICX, your wallet is on t the testnet version and you can dive straight into using the DAP. So what is Optimus? And let's, let's take a look. Let's go step by step through the DAP. Uh, you can see over here ledger and iconx and i believe it will uh, launch if you pick this it'll launch hana as well if you have hana installed we've got testnet i'll click sign in i'll pick my wallet okay so this particular wallet i did do some uh, testing earlier and i have closed my strategies and you're probably wondering what's he talking about i'll get to that uh, so right now nothing is happening in this wallet just what you're seeing currently is a bit of the past it's displaying some statistics but um, i'm going to run through everything with that um, together so first thing as soon as you logged into the wallet you can see that you are given a screen that kind of um, aggregates all the information of what your wallet's up to. Now, in this particular instance, my wallet isn't up to much. I've just got uh, 16,000 ICX in it. And uh, you can see if I wanted to give feedback to the team, there's a large feedback button and uh, easy way to access the docs, which you saw uh, had uh, had a screen over here. And the docs also have a step-by-step -step how to use AirDrip, AirDrop. It's got quite a lot of information in there already. A great um, uh, spot to go and, and get acquainted with the DAP. Next screen we have is the wallet screen. So this you can see, it will tell you what's going on in your wallet. It also shows you the rewards that you would get from using the strategies daily that come through. Remember testnet version, so in everything it's showing me a lot of rewards, but it'll be different in, in mainnet. And the invest tab. The invest tab is how you use strategies. So. Before I go on, let me tell you what, what um, Optimus does and yield aggregation. It is essentially it employs an automated strategy of some sort. Um, in this case, the two strategies that are going to be launching is there's a borrower strategy and there's a, a liquidity provider um, uh, strategy that are associated to the balanced DAP. So it automates a process where you don't have to keep checking on things. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's dive into these strategies and I'll, I'll take you step by step and tell you what aspects it's automating. So traditionally, if you were a borrower on balance, you would go to balance, you'd put up some ICX as collateral and you would um, then borrow up to, I believe, 35% off its value. Um, that's the maximum you can go. So, uh, and it means BNUSD. So when you do that, then it's a, it's a fine game of ensuring that you do not go over the limit, reward threshold limit, uh, 
and lose out on your balance tokens because you know at the moment that when you take out a loan on balance you get rewarded with balance tokens so what the borrower strategy does via optimus is you borrow through optimus over here so if i were to um, borrow two thousand three um, add three thousand icx as collateral it would then in the background borrow and automatically make sure it's paying down the loan or paying or taking more of a loan to keep the rewards at maximum before it gets cut off. So we know on balance there's a cutoff where you always have to um, monitor it. Now the yield optimizer makes sure that you're always earning the maximum balance token and you don't have to worry about price fluctuations because it will automatically scale down or scale up based on what's happening in the, with the uh, price of ICX, which is brilliant. So now you don't have to worry about um, uh, sudden dips in the market. If you've used Optimus, it is automatically maintaining that ratio for you and um, harvesting your rewards. At the moment, we know Balance does um, a snapshot process, uh, daily rewards. However, soon that will turn to block by block, which is even, um, uh, which will be even better for the optimization, um, optimization, yield aggregating protocols. So, let, let's let's that's the borrower strategy. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you through the strategy and how it works and how simple it is to use and some of the things you'll see on the screen, and then I'll talk you through the liquidity providing strategy. So. Borrower, what I'll do is I want to put up now every step of this process I'll talk through. So I'm going to put 3000 ICX. So this would be the stage in balanced where you would go and add 3000 ICX to mint a certain amount of BNUSD. So that's what you're doing via Optimus now. So I've got 3000. What you can see, it, it clearly tells you the explanation I gave you about the strategy. And down here is you can see it's giving you a bit of a forecast. Now remember these rates are based on testnet. So you can see that if I deposit um, ICX, it'll project my rewards in ICX. So obviously what it's doing is it's taking the balance token rewards market rate in. It doesn't sell it. It's just doing the calculation for you to give you an idea um, month by month how much you will get a return on the amount you invest. So I could scale this right up to 15,000. And if you see here, it automatically adjusts and then it tells me so in this case, in the month of September, I'm not seeing much. I would get around 197 ICX, but you can see as time goes on, um, those rewards start compounding and um, it gets a bit better, a lot better. So that that helps you uh, figure out kind of where your rewards sit. So let, let's, let's do this 3000, I'm gonna be a borrower. Excellent, I'll hit tick. Great. So let's go back to the home screen. As you can see, before there wasn't much going on here, but as soon as I've now used a strategy, because that's what they're called, they're not called vaults and things like that that are, are traditionally named in other um, platforms, yield aggregators. Uh, over here, they've decided to use the word strategy moving forward, which makes sense because it is a strategy. Each of these are different strategies, so let's not confuse the lingo, make it easy for new people to join the ecosystem and just get started with these platforms. So. Over here, it is ICX, so you can see this is my return, this is what I've deposited, this is the profit I'm looking at based on the strategy I've used, okay? So that's strategy number one. The next strategy, I'll click back on invest, and it is a liquidity providing strategy. Now, this particular strategy again relates to balance, and it is strictly for providing liquidity to the ICX slash SICX pool. Now, a quick overview in case you haven't been dabbling in um, ba with Balanced or weren't sure about this particular pool. This pool is allows users to put in your ICX. So you go to this pool and you just strictly, it's a one-sided pool. You just put ICX in there. For putting your ICX in there, you don't get staking rewards because that ICX isn't staked, but you do get the balance token as a reward. So people sometimes like this pool because it's a completely risk, risk in permanent loss risk free pool so you go to this pool you put in icx let's say you have a ton of icx a hundred thousand icx oh that would be the dream but uh, you have a hundred thousand you go and put a hundred thousand icx in there now what happens with this pool is as you know with the decks you can unstake SICX instantly you pay a one percent fee so whenever users go to do that the where this 
the spot it gets the ICX from is this pool. So the user takes SICX and goes, I want to um, trade 70,000 SICX for ICX. It will basically put that SICX into the pool and take what ICX is there, that value of ICX from that pool and give it back to the user. So what, what happens there though, is if you have a lot of ICX in that pool, as your ICX gets swapped out, it gets turned into SICX. And then you have to go back to the pool, withdraw the SICX, and then go through the unstaking process and then add it back into that pool. So a lot of users lose days because they're not monitoring those pools every day and things like that. So what Optimus has done is create a strategy around it where you provide liquidity. So this is what I'll, I'll take you through right now. But essentially you provide the liquidity the moment it gets swapped to SICX, the strategy will automatically unstake it and then re-add it as ICX on your behalf. So you don't lose a moment in the entire process, which is quite a cool strategy. And it, again, one of the great things about these two particular strategies they're launching it with is there is no impermanent loss or no loss risk per se in any of that, you know, because they're, they're, it's automating both aspects of this process. So let's dive in. Over here again, I'm going to provide 3,000 or close to 3,000. There we go. And I'm providing it. It will be ICX that gets deposited in, into the ICX slash SICX pool. And you can see straight away now <laughs> Testnet has got is very aggressive with this APY here. Um, but you can see straight away what it's doing um, when I adjust. So see, let's have a look. It's forecasting. See? So just bringing it back down, let's take a look. What it's telling us is based on this every month, this is the projected rewards in ICX, yeah? So we know again, in this case, we're getting balanced um, as a reward, but it's again, just converting to give you an idea of what kind of reward rate in ICX you would be getting. Uh, keep One thing to keep in mind each of these strategies is not selling your balance rewards. It is just calculating based on, I believe, market value at that time. So even as you use these strategies, you will just see your balance rewards start to bank up when it claims it for you. Then you can choose to do as you want, whether it is sell it, stake it, up to you. Okay, so coming back to this, I'll put it back to 3000. Great, you can see some of the stats around it. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna hit uh, tick, the tick button just st kicks off the strategy. Excellent. So that's done. Let's go back to the home tab and there you go. You can see that I have uh, provided a, a borrower where it will automate the borrowing process to maximize the balance token distribution yield I get from, from bar taking out a loan. And I have added uh, liquidity to the ICX SICX pool and now it will automatically unstake and re-add re the ICX to that pool so I don't lose any time. Now let's click on wallet and you can see now it's looking very different. I can transfer if I had balance tokens and I can transfer it out of the wallet through the interface. Here's some of the assets, a bit of, you know, a graph around it. And you can see some of my old um, transactions. Now, this is great. I don't have to dive into another wallet and show, show you, but you can see in the past, um, I had some rewards come through and that's what will start to happen daily. Every time rewards are claimed, you'll just look at your transaction list and it will show you how many rewards um, you're getting and naturally then in the balance field over here, uh, when you have your rewards, you can then transfer it out or just see it in your wallet. That's how simple it is. Now, uh, the other aspect is, oh, you've got a bit more ICX and you know what, you wanna take, uh, you wanna go back and add it to the liquidity providing strategy. It's, it's just simple. You literally go into the invest tab and click and then add how much more you want. It doesn't kick off another strategy, okay? One wallet, it will connect everything going on with that wallet and you just keep adding to the strategy. Cool. So let's come back to home. The other quick aspects I wanted to touch on. So uh, while this is, uh, this, these are the two strategies it will launch with. Uh, the other aspect is that make sure the feedback and, and things like that will redirect you. If you haven't already, sign up to their um, MOM, uh, the community, 
place they had built. They built this in-house and um, you will learn a bit more about this when I drop the podcast um, that I've recorded with um, Icon Dow and what hopes they have for this medium and where they're going to take it. But um, overall, this is an excellent space to uh, sign up to and be involved with, especially if you want to, while you're testing on Testnet, want to ask the team some questions. And um, moving forward, this will be the platform where the DAO, because Optimus, the plan is to ensure it is very community driven and contributed, and it is a DAO. So this is where you need to go and um, talk strategies that the protocol will incorporate next or build next and things like that. This is the forum you will need to go to. So definitely um, take part in take part in it and um, get used to it. Coming back to Optimus, I, I believe now I have covered everything. Um, over here you can see, you know, this is an aggregation of all the strategies and what kind of profit percentages it's going on. You can switch it as well, you know, by seven days, 30 days to see the graph, which is quite cool. And um, yeah, look, that's, that's pretty much it. That's a thorough sum summary of how everything works. Uh, once again, if you like the content, please like, subscribe, share this around. Well, a final call out as well. So I, I have not covered tokenomics. There will be a token and the way it distributes and everything is actually um, noted over here. So definitely go go through this, um, the dots section. But the only reason I haven't talked tokenomics and things like that, I've got the podcast, I have asked them these questions and they talk through a bit about the token and how to work and what it'll be used for. So definitely tune in there to get um, it right from the team, um, which which is, I'm quite excited about the token and how it will work. And I'm just excited of how they are very much driven to make sure uh, moving forward, the community votes in strategies that they want added to the op to Optimus, which is fantastic. So, um, and they've kind of tried to uh, create a medium they can build this out on that is not your traditional discords and telegrams because they want to stop you know scammers and things like that coming into the community. So it's really cool, and you'll get a lot of that insights in the podcast. But overall. This is how you use it. Make sure when Testnet comes out, there will be some airdrops, air drips for using Testnet. So don't watch this tutorial and think, oh, well, now I know it, don't need to look at it. Definitely go and dabble on Testnet when they launch it and get used to using the site. I bet you're probably thinking though, it's easy and it is, it's so easy. It's literally clicks a few buttons and you're there. So hopefully me talking through the strategies really helped connect all the dots of how it works um, when, when relating to balance. And finally, one thing to keep in mind is when you use Optimus, say this wallet, right now if I were to go to balanced and um, it would not show up. Okay, so that's, uh, it won't just, when I connect the wallet to balance, it won't show on balance exactly what you have going on because it's being managed by Optimus. So the contract then reads on the contract end and does things. So just keep that in mind as well. When you're using Optimus for yield optimization, aggregation, Optimus controls every aspect of it. Hence it can automate and pay down, pay up and do the things it needs to to make sure it's maximizing your yield. Okay, thanks everyone for watching. Take care, until next time.